Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. And we're gonna do some building. Well, not building, but shopping. Okay, are you available for a new build? Hello. I'm actually looking for a new build. I'm uh, hyped to finally play Sail Away. Sail Away. The sailing simulator. So, can you do that before 10 days? I like nice and shiny new components. The Red E data parts are really good. Add Allison. Man. <laughs> I should have been able to do that quite nicely. Alright, um. Sail away! The sailing simulator! Well, what do we need? Here you go, and you want it recommended, right? No, minimum. Hmm. Well, three pounds two hundred fifty. I think we can get something pretty decent. Yeah, I mean, recommended doesn't require a whole lot. Uh, I'm gonna go AMD this time around, and I feel like a nice Ryzen five would do. So, AM4, Sirius, Ryzen 5, uh, yeah, let's go with a 3600, should I, should I step up and get the 3600X? I think, I think I should. I've been using the 3600 a whole lot and... Uh, or, hmm... I don't even know anymore. Uh, what's the M4? I don't know what. Should I go with a... Yeah, well... All the generations are actually more expensive. I was thinking maybe I could go with the 3700X. I actually think we can get that in the budget. Because that is one of the ones I... I don't think I've ever touched it. So that could be a fun thing to do. Alright, let's see what we got. We got MSI, we got Gigabyte. We got Asus. Now what do I want to? Well... I could go with this Gigabyte board, this MSI, or this ASUS. Because, uh, again, I don't really like this when you can see the back of, uh, like, USB and uh, Ethernet, well, the AI, uh, the IOs, not AIOs, that's something totally different. Hmm. Let's go with MSI. Storage. A data. Type. M.2. Size. A minimum of 512. And this kind of looked like it would be nice. 
Wow, I haven't touched graphics card yet. Hmm. So, what do I want? Man, did I really spend that little? Huh. Alright. Hmm. I mean, I could go board and get the 6900 XT. I feel like that is going a little overkill. I mean, it should be something that, like, fits this uh, CPU too. Um... If I were to go... RTX 3000... Oh, we got a 3060 Ti! That is actually not very expensive. 550 bucks! I mean, considering that the cheapest 3070 is over grand. I mean, this is even less than half of this. Same amount of VRAM. Quite a bit longer, though, but hey. All right, <laughs> cool. Um, let's see. Uh, SATX. Minimum of four hundred. Minimum of two hundred. And I want you to support the big ones. This kind of feel like it's gonna be like an MSI bill, ain't it? If I were to go with something like this. Not that I would mind though. Oh, there is actually an 8 data case. He did say he's an 8 data fan. So, that might actually be something that would fit in. Seriously, though, I'm. Um yeah, we don't have memory yet. I was starting to think, why is it so cheap? Uh, let's see, frequency. I kind of want to get something... Like, blazing fast. Okay, so if I get two of those, and I think we only need to get another cooler, or a cooler. Uh, 
This is also a place where we could actually go with MSI. Yeah, let's go with MSI, why not? Seriously though. I feel like I got a really good build here. And well, we're almost a thousand bucks below the budget. I almost feel like getting a way nicer uh, processor. Seriously, I could get something like this. Because as soon as I remove this. Well, not really. That is 10 bucks above our budget. Okay. Let's get the 5900X then. Then we are below. Cool. And you got some A data parts in there. Nice. Uh, my rig need fixing. Uh, <clears throat> Hi. I think something's broken. When I turn it on, the fans don't turn. And then. I got an overheating error. I think my PSU is dying. I need this pretty soon, nine days at the least. It's not as quick as it used to be. Don't try to pass off any used parts, I want all new stuff. Richard Brown. Good Brown development. Okay, so power supply and RAM. Alright, what do we got? We got a 1300 from Silverstone. Alright, uh, power supplies. Okay, so that is 300 bucks. That means we got 400 to spend on memory. And you had a um, speed of 3,000. Okay, 400 bucks. We can get 32 gigs. Nice. <laughs> Alright, cool. Got them all. Need fixing. This is slash madam. There's something wrong with my PC. It's not immediately obvious what's gone wrong. I'll have to do some. Uh, you will have to do some digging. My screen turned all blue. And now. The computer won't turn on. It seems a bit dusty inside. I've noticed it sometimes run a bit slow too. I'm looking forward to hearing back from you, Anthony. Okay, um... Hmm... Screen is turning all blue. Hmm... I mean, it kind of sounds like you're overheating, so I would think it would be the cooler for the CPU, perhaps? Uh, I will need to get this one in to check, though. My rig need fixing. <laughs> fixing? Fixing. Hey, uh, I'm pretty sure I managed to break something. It's 
bit of a mystery. Can you figure out what's wrong? Uh, I kicked the PC by accident, of course. Uh, I fixed myself, but I'm way too busy. I like nice and shiny new components. Can you get it done quickly? Thanks, Allison. Alright, uh, again, I don't know what, what you broke by, by kicking it, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look. Right, so. Damn. Seriously, I feel like I put together a pretty darn good mid range PC here. And I'm happy. Well, <laughs> mid range, you said, and have a 12. I think it's a 12 core CPU. <laughs> Alright, let's get a next day delivery. And with that, I'm gonna end off this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see y'all in the next one. Until then. Bye-bye.